Man, your next contest is set for one call. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by VIP Joe Rosa, representing the VIP club, Jay Best. What do you make of what we just saw on Mac there? Is Jay Bradley really gonna try and go into our main event? A tag team match war with the coalition by himself? Head strong. Bradley is head strong. He's, he's used to being a lone wolf for a long time. Bradley is big, a big ticket guy. He's willing to go out here and do what he has to do. And quite honestly, I think Jay Bradley can handle Jones and Lamada easily. He is a complete and utter fool if he thinks he can take on Delta Team Bravo by himself. And introducing his opponent, he is the only active participant to participate in both Bellator MMA and Impact Wrestling from Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome, King Mo! think that the King Bo has just decided to start wrestling real recently, getting into MMA. I understand he's been wrestling since he was old enough to drive. 16 years old is when he started freestyle wrestling. He is a three-time U.S. Open champion at 84 kilos, and that is a stare down that I don't know if Jay Best wants to make right now. I've been waiting for this match all night, guys. I want to see how he transitioned. Can he make the MMA world work in professional I'm wrestling? I understand even like in 04 or something like that, he had his eyes on the Olympic team. An alternate to the Olympic team for freestyle wrestling in both 08 and 04, Athens and Beijing. Former Strike Force light heavyweight champion is King Mo, Pan American champion, current Bellator and TNA superstar. He just have to be reminded to not use the fist. I understand that. I mean, he's going to do what comes natural to him. A big upside. I mean, obviously, this guy knows how to get down and dirty and fight. Tight waist goes down to the mat. A lot of potential here, but can King Mo turn that potential into talent? The thing is, is that he's going to have to transition from MMA and the amateur wrestling and the kickboxing and turn it into professional wrestling because it's totally different worlds, totally different beasts, and most men just can't actually make that transition. Yeah, the, biggest, the, the biggest move so far that King Mo has made is not return Titus's phone call. <laughs> I never would want to call him. Be wasting you my want time. To, you want to sign him so bad you can taste it. He's not worth my time. King Mo like a human weapon. Always on the assault here. Again, he's been training for several months now to, to work into the professional wrestling world. This is OVW professional wrestling debut. And here's one thing you won't see from the, the VIP crew and all these idiots, is he's actually sitting here waiting and following the referee's instructions. Now that's scouted. He never had anything scouted. This is a totally different beast. This is a different animal right there, square in the eyes. Huh? He wasn't paying attention. He wasn't looking at him. That's it's not. You get a thumb in the eye. It's not like the MMA world. There's no outside interference. There's no enemies all around you in the MMA world. Professional wrestling is very different. He's not locked inside of an eight-sided cage. That octagon. Well, they're not going to. They're not going to stop and and uh, have the doctor come in and check to see whether or not uh, he's injured or not. He's just got to handle it or give up one of the two. Oh, wow, wow, what a believer! Yeah, going for submission, it. going for submission! I don't know what he calls it! I'll tell you what, Jay Ben calls it painful! By submission, King Mo! You know, that would never have happened if he faced Mr. VIP, Joe Rosa. Human weapon striking at I'm King Mo! King Mo has claimed his first victim! Like the salad,